All right, it's a windy morning out here, but that's okay. We're here to talk about real estate. I'm John Tice. I'm here with Katie Schellenberger from the Howard Hanna Hershey office today, and we're going to demonstrate the power of video. Wind. It's a little rough on hair. That's why I wear a hat and keep my hair short. Well, it is what it is. But you know, one of the most powerful things, and that's why we're out here every Thursday, is to talk about the real estate market. And I prefer to use video. In fact, I like live video, which makes everybody nervous around me. But, nervous. but we're going to talk a little bit about the, the power of video and real estate. It's powerful in, in all ways, and we know we get the views, and we have uh, people that tune in at their at their leisure. So it's an on-demand kind of thing, but it's a great way to get the story out, whether you're a, a business, an agent, or you have a house that you're promoting. All good reasons to use video in real estate. Yes. So what what's your favorite thing to do here, other than demonstrate how you dry your hair? Video comes. I have been, I have been doing video as a real estate agent. I was trying to think about this yesterday, since like hardcore 2017. That's five years of footage. Some of it is scary. <laughs> I went back and looked at it. And I was like, oh my. But at the same token, I look at it as people really get to know who I am as a person, because I just kind of do a on the fly type of video. I'm not into the editing. I do like watching people who can do that, but I am not, it's not my style at all. <laughs> I like the authenticity, you know, we're standing out here in the wind. I think you can pick up on that and hopefully the audio quality is what I expect it to be. But um, we get to do fun things like this. We get to stand out here in a park we can show you some of the great features or just a beautiful day here in Derry Township. And we're here at Bullfrog Valley Road Park, which... Um, Bullfrog Valley Pond. That one. Hence the pond. So if you took the bridge to our right, your left, that takes you on the nature trail. And that'll connect you right over to Shank Park. And if you stand here in the middle, you're in the middle. But you will come out here. We're going to find people that are fishing. And well, unfortunately, there's nobody fishing today the except geese, the geese. The ducks. But it's always a real happening park. It's just one of those cooler, windy days, which may be not good for fishing. But it's a great way to showcase our community. It's a great way to showcase your property and the, and the individually special features and characteristics that your home has, which is my favorite. Um, I'm a big fan of virtual open houses. Why should I drag a lot of people through your house when I can host a 15, 20 minute virtual open house, showcase the parts that are important that they may miss if I'm not there and uh, help you achieve the best value without dragging people or at least the vast numbers through your house that are out there that want to see it. My record for the day, 169 visitors to a 15 minute virtual open house. That's pretty cool. So um, if 169 visitors and that was individual viewers so let's say there's two of them we've got 330 350 people coming through your house in 15 minutes i don't think you'd want that i don't know that i want it but i do want that exposure for your house and we have a large segment of buyers in this world that that's their preference well when covid hit if you think about it as a realtor we had to make changes because the governor shut us down for a couple months. We weren't essential. And so we came up with uh, those virtual open houses. We did Zoom meetings. We did all sorts of different things. A lot of it entailed video, whether yeah. you wanted to or not. That's how I did business. And, you know, that's what I, some of those things I actually prefer and continue those today, like the virtual open houses. Do one immediately with the, the new listings. Um, I just think it's a great way to tell the story of the home. And the, the nice thing is it lives online. And um, that same property that had 165 views in the 15 minutes went on to have 480 over the next 48 hours. That's a lot of people coming through your house. If you're not taking advantage of that, you're probably missing some buyers, especially in this sight unseen world. 
you've got a lot of buyers tuning in from everywhere because they're moving into this area and they need to know about your home as quickly as possible. So it's a great tool for uh, for that reason also. Not only that, but if, uh, if you do a lot of, like let's say you have to relocate and you're out of state and you don't have a lot of time in this market, it's a good way to see a house without having to physically be there. So for the people outside of the area, Here's one of our great parks, Dairy Township. And if you're familiar with the Hershey Medical Center, it's literally just over the hill. Over the hill. Yeah. It's a five minute bike ride. Right? Not even. I don't think it would take five minutes. And it's downhill both ways. <laughs> okay, whatever you just said made me lose my train of thought, which isn't you said hard it's to do. Downhill dare. both ways. I don't know what you were talking about because it's kind of uphill. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And so, video viewings of your property. I see a lot of agents are listing uh, on the showing instructions in person only. Well, I've been working with an out of town buyer, and I'm here to tell you that I showed four properties in two days, all of them as a FaceTime video because they were out of town. They made offers on two of those four properties. Do I want to eliminate that buyer who's comfortable in this video process and setting? I don't think so. I don't know that you want to. So if you have questions about video, what's good, bad, or otherwise, how can we employ it in a sale? That's where you call me. Be happy to explain to you some of the video tools that we use and why that's important for your property to live online. It gives us a lot of control but it gives that buyer the access that they require in this marketplace. And I don't care if there's COVID or not. They appreciate the long, online access and the video uh, availability of your right. property. A static picture only shows so much. So a three, 360 tour or a live video or a video open house, all tools that we've employed, some of them before COVID, but I believe they're a, a requirement now that COVID is here. And we're still dealing with that. Are you comfortable being in a crowd? But you don't want 300 people in your house in 15 minutes. But we can do that with video. There's the power behind it. Right. I was just thinking, I remember back in the day when it was the best thing to do was to take your still photos and set it to music. And that was your virtual tour. Uh -huh. And that's still some idea of a virtual is, tour for many it's people. Not, it's not what the buyers objective. are looking for. You know, today they want Matterport, they want 360 uh, tours, uh, and they want them available for their convenience, which is the critical piece. Work schedules are nuts, and um, it's an accommodation that we've made to try and reach everybody, which is the challenge today. I agree. So what's your favorite video that you've done? Back in the day when I was starting the process of building my house, you you suggested, oh, you should do like a video series of the process of going through that. And I think those were some of my favorites. Yeah. You know, it's an area everybody wants to build a house. They have no idea what's involved in it. So why not give you a sneak peek behind the scenes of, yeah. of the time and the selections and the choices and the decisions that, that are required of building a home? I was so nervous. I used like a fisheye lens so that I was, I was close to it, but it looked like I was further away. <laughs> Huh. My daughter got in a few. <laughs> it's not the best location, okay, but it, it worked. So anytime you have a question, drop us a line, drop in on one of our videos, or stand by. You could always pick up the phone and give us a call. Put right. a text, an email, a video. Send me a video question. Love it. <laughs> um, That's the other thing. They're all good. Video text. So we have a little program coming up in the near future, and we're calling it uh, listing focus. No, the ex oh, expert. Ask, ask the expert. Ask the expert. Yes. That's been going on monthly for a while now. Oh, it sounds new to me. It's not. You were there. We did one. All live. Look at that. Facebook, from the so we're going to be doing another one soon. <laughs> when are we doing that? It is the twenty-first. The evening of the 21st. Yeah, so come back and tune in June 21 at 6 p.m. 
Yes. And we're going to be doing Ask the Experts, which I'm bringing some answers. I really don't know what the questions are, but we're counting on you to send us some questions or tune in and yeah. ask us a question or what's the format? Q&A? It'll be both. Or yeah. Q&A, whatever you want to know. So insightful thoughts that we haven't brought to you on a Thursday, or maybe we'll bring them all to ask the experts. But yes. do you have a question about video? you have a question about a virtual tour? you have a question about how, how long does it take to do all this to get my house ready to go on the market? Why do you do it? All that stuff. We'll okay. be covering all those things. Yes. Um, and particularly if you have a question about what do you do? Is there a bubble? What's happening in the market? What's good with financing? Oh my gosh, did interest rates go up? We will, we will have those answers for you and um, maybe some creative ideas on what to do differently. <laughs> Video. And <laughs> things that you need to do to market your property in 2022 that are effective, that reach people and cause them to respond. How's Agents, that? Agents, I'm telling you, you got to do it. I'm much cooler online. That's why I do these things. Nobody cares what you look like. That's a shame. Because you, you look like. Then I'm not going to do like, my hair next right? time. Right? Like, doesn't matter. But join us. We're going to be at different scenes all around Hershey. We do this every Thursday morning at 10:30 ish, and uh, <laughs> sometimes there's little sometimes connectivity there's problems. Some scheduling conflicts. <laughs> but go back through our page, look at some of our previous videos, and I'd love if you drop me a line and say, you know, I saw your video on YouTube or LinkedIn or Facebook. I have this question. I'd like to know something. We, we're always looking for topics. Yes. I can do this all day, which we all find out. So, um, but I'd like to address your questions too. Yeah. Right so, on. send them in to us. Ask us a question. What's the impact of an interest rate? I got that answer. So, stand by. We're going to be doing these for a while. At least I know I will be because I like the format. Join us anytime. Thursdays, 10:30, June. 21st. 21st, 6 p.m. Always live. Always interesting. Always exciting. I will remind It's you Real Estate Facts yes. with John and Katie. Check us out. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. See you next time.